iran is not open for business that is the message from u s officials tuesday to defend in the interim deal with tehran that allows some sanctions relief but u s lawmakers are alarmed at the recent international trade delegation visits to iran since some believe only through a threat of more sanctions will keep iran negotiating nathan king explains iran is not open for business Top U.S. officials trying to reassure lawmakers that the sanctions against Iran are still in place. Since the interim nuclear deal came into effect last month, Iran has received $500 million previously frozen abroad. Tehran stands to get as much as $7 billion in economic sanctions relief if the six-month deal is fully implemented. But a majority of U.S. senators want to vote for even more sanctions that would come into force automatically if Iran fails to live up to its promises under the six-month deal. And are worried about recent international trade missions to Tehran. You've got uh, political people, you've got business people flooding in there, ready to do business, going back to business as usual with Iranians. Whose job is it going to be to put the genie back in the bottle? A recent French trade delegation followed trips by politicians from Italy, Finland and even the UK's former foreign minister visited. U.S. administration officials, however, said they are warning allies and adversaries alike that Iran is still off limits for business. Most of these delegations appear to be going to get themselves in line for the day that, in fact, a comprehensive agreement is reached, if it is reached. And we have told them all that they are putting their reputations, themselves, and their business, business enterprises at risk if they jump the gun. The U.S. has been stepping up sanctions enforcement recently. Several foreign companies are now under economic penalties for dealing in Iran's oil sector. The traditional U.S. allies, like Israel, say the sanctions are likely to collapse unless reinforced. It, too, backs more sanctions on Iran, arguing that they are what brought Tehran to the negotiating table in the first place. While most businesses are only testing the waters, waiting until a final Iran nuclear deal is signed, if it will, the idea of investing in a market of 76 million people, which needs hundreds of billions of dollars worth of investment in its oil and gas fields, is very tempting indeed. Nathan King, CCTV, Washington.